Okay, I guess on my hair, she look all right. And with that actually sitting there like this creams, and I had to have them, sis. All fab here. I just had, we're gonna discontinue it, but I had to pick up their book of shadows, honey. The color green makes she fan, expensive breeze, good time. Wise hole, serious? <laughs> Record and let's get into it. Baby, when I tell you, this may be one of the smallest but most sentimental hauls I've ever done. Not only did I do some shopping for me, did a little shopping for you too because the giveaway winner, I'm like, I gotta spice up this package. I've been telling y'all about a little bit of here and there that we got coming through and today's the day, we gonna get into it. But first, before we get into things, I wanna first say, make sure you are subscribed. If you are subscribed, Give this video a thumbs up. Also, oh, since we're talking about stuff we're giving away in a giveaway, in order to enter the giveaway, you have to be subscribed to the channel and you have to leave a comment under my video right here for my Juvia's Place Mini Masquerade Palette. But that's enough. Let's get into it because, baby, this package just came less than a half an hour ago and I kept telling y'all online they lost the package. It was supposed to be here last Monday. Today is Tuesday the 7th, so we need to hurry up and get this going. But I'm going to show you all the stuff I got for myself first. Then we're going to work over to the stuff I got y'all because I don't want y'all to get too excited. First up for me, oh, please, 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 baby. I know I'm going to be showing some stuff, but I get this comment a lot where people be saying, oh, my God, you must be so rich. You must have a lot of money. Don't believe that. Honey, I am broke. I just shop irresponsibly because I don't have kids. Don't let people online show you how much they got, how much they spend, what they got. Fool you into believing they got more than what they got, honey. I work for a living. Ain't no trust fund, ain't none of that. I may be injured and I'm working this comp, but I have to budget like everybody else. I look for sales. I look for payment plans. I put stuff on the credit card. I ain't got it like that, honey. But I do got a couple things that we're going to show off because even on a budget, honey, we're going to still get us some makeup. So let's get into it. First off, I've already showed you all some of these items. This was from Fenty Beauty because, you know, my wife's birthday came up, which was one of the main reasons for this haul. She showed us out for the Super Bowl. This was the stickers that came with that. I see no reason to open these stickers, honey, so more than likely these will probably never get open. They were free, so I took them. I'm like, okay. Another one here is the makeup sponge. Looks like a football here. This was, I believe, free with purchase too. I believe that was this and this came free, but you can't actually purchase both items. I wasn't about to do so, but the sponge. Okay, it's shaped like a football. It has the FB on the back for Fenty Beauty. Make sure you focus on that, not me. And on the front, it has the little lines here to make it look like a football. I know I have the Fenty sponge, so this here can be a backup that I can save. Just as a memento for my baby breaking the record for the Super Bowl views, honey, halftime show. Yes, ma'am. So we have that here. I've already used this lip gloss here. You all know the Gloss Bomb is my absolute favorite lip gloss formula. And for them to come out with a new shade called Riri, there was no way I could not get it. I've already used this in a tutorial. This was for the... Which one did I use this for? The Rihanna uh, birthday uh, tutorial that I did. No one, I'm like, Torrance, which one was it? Her birthday tutorial. I can make sure I leave that link right here above. And this is in the shade Riri 08. She's a shimmery mauve. And you all know I'm not the biggest fan of mauve. But if you're going to give my baby Rihanna away, that ain't even catch this. That caught my face. I was looking like, is you going to look at it? She's gorgeous. But I prefer a rose nude like the original Fenty Glow. But... Limited edition with that football there. I believe in order to get the ones with the footballs on them, you do have to order them from the Fenty Beauty website. If you get it from like Sephora or Ulta or anywhere like that, it won't have that logo on it. So I'm like, baby, I'm glad I got mine. Another item that they had to go with those were, which one do we have left? Oh, 
This is also in the shade Reread. This is their new Velvet Liquid Lipstick Formula. Everything comes with that Super Bowl football packaging because you know she was the official makeup brand for the Super Bowl this year, which was fabulous. And I did not have this formula, but I believe when they first dropped it, they only had this one color available and then they later announced it would be five different colors. But I probably still would have got this one just because they named it Riri. And oh, that is pretty. Look at this case first off, honey. She's beautiful. And you can see the color right there between the Fenty logo. But look at that football at the top. I'm still debating on whether I want to go get that red shade. Because, oh wait, I keep gotta cover my face. I keep forgetting this thing, keep looking for me. And I'm like, if I get that red shade, then I think I won't have to worry about it having this uh, football up here. I think it'll have the FB for the Fenty Beauty logo. So I'm definitely gonna wanna keep this here. I don't know why I keep putting stuff back in the box. Probably because I know I wanna save these boxes, but I'm like, Torrance, you're gonna use this stuff. You're gonna put this stuff up. But I know I'm about to toss this over to the side. Next up, oh, the one thing I thought I was not going to be able to get because when it first came up, I was debating, I was holding back like, you already got enough of those. You even got some customized ones. Don't worry about it. But then it came back. No, it sold out on me and I'm like, but I wanted one, blah, blah, blah. It ended up coming back. So I managed to grab it. This is the Fenty Icon case. This is in Showstopper Edition. And you know, Fenty Beauty just came out with some new uh, bullet lipsticks where you buy the case and the bullet separately. I have them in the original pink metallic ones. Those are engraved. I have messages on those. And then they have a matte black. I just have the matte black ones. So I know I have at least four of them. But this one here was the case for the Super Bowl. You will put your bullet in this piece here. She's green. And you know, green is my color. She has the Fenty Beauty logo there. And then look at this little cutie here. Oh my goodness. It has the yard line numbers there. And on one side, it should have actually Fenty there. And then the little charm that hangs from there, baby, got the FB on it. So it's like, I'm gonna keep these out because I know I need to fill her. And because I already have a red, I know they came out with like, four or five new red and you know berry shades but I'm like I already have a red so I need something different I know I went and bought like the really light uh pale nude shades because of course those are my favorites and I think I bought a cool tone brown because the uh supermodel Austin Mason had used that one so with this one I'm like Torrance get something different and out of your comfort zone so this here is the bullet refill I picked up this is in the shade 13 rowdy roadie and I got this simply because it was the darkest shade. I don't believe it's a black, but I think it's so dark that it may even come off as black in a swatch. But I'm like, I just wanted something different to put in there because honestly, I might even still swap this out and put that red shade in here because I want that red in this one simply because that was what Rihanna wore. But this is the color I have for it now. I can always swap it out later. But this is what Rowdy Rody looks like. And you can see she's just the deepest darkest brown shade and so I just wanted something different for that and so we're gonna put her in here get Roddy Roddy and we're gonna turn that down get her in here and we can always swap that later if we want to let me get her okay yeah make sure she's in there and boom and I want to put her back in here just so I don't just toss her over because baby we got a few more items to show y'all but later on, we're going to pull these out the boxes and put them on the shelf where they belong. It's just, baby, I don't like making a big old mess. If I was going to throw this away, we would. The last thing I got from Fenty Beauty, even though everybody keeps saying, like, honey, we need them to just reformulate because nobody just seems to be the biggest fan of their eyeshadow formula. I got to make sure I pay my child support, honey. My baby just said she having another baby on the way. That's my wife. So I had to make sure... The coins was up and I just went and got it simply because it was the only one in the collection I don't have. This is the Bomb Posse eyeshadow palette. Now I got the other ones and they have the ability to snap into one another and this was one of, no, this was the only one that I did not have as far as the larger ones. And I just wanted it because it allows you to snap two individual palettes on the back and the other ones I have, you had to snap those big ones to it and I'm like, I just had to have it, I, I don't care. 
I know everybody said it was bad. It went to clearance. Nobody wanted it. So I just got it just to go ahead, get it on clearance and have it to my collection because the color story is just so pretty. And it's named after three of the best selling shades of the um, lip gloss, the gloss bomb. This first quad is after the gloss fussy. This middle one is after my favorite fancy glow. And then this last one here is after the shade hot chocolate. And they are just gorgeous. Like, look at this color story. I have not heard any good reviews on it, but baby, I know I can still make this work because she is so pretty. And it's like, I got her simply to support Rihanna, simply to add it to my collection. I'm not mad. It is what it is. Now this box, I don't mind tossing to the sack because I knew I'm going to be putting this in the shelf because I just got to add her with her sisters. But we had to put that over there. And that is it for Fenty Beauty. Next up is something I told you all was coming. But I did not want to open it and show you all until we got to this haul here. Baby. Oh, this eye. I. How can I put it? I have loved every single thing that I've gotten from Oda's Eye. The thing is, the only items I have is collab palettes. Um, I love influencer collabs. I just love collabs in general. But influencer collabs are just what hits me right here. Uh, the first four palettes I got from them all came with scars because I got them during that initial first launch, like within the first five minutes. So the same thing happened here. I'm like, Torrance, you do not want to stop collecting them. You do not want to give up on having those scarves. So although I'm not going to open the scarves up and take them out of here, we are going to show you what they look like if they are still wrapped like the others. And this came with a special box here. And it's like, oh my goodness, look at that. I might even still keep this box because... We're going to need something to store these in. And this is a trio collection. It came with the influencers. What is it? Um, Batty Bean, Makeup Just For Fun, and Lauren May Beauty. And oh, they got this sealed in here. Tight. This is what the palettes look like. They got those sealed up. And then they have the three scarves down in here. So, um, oh yeah, and I forgot, you also got that one ribbon. If you bought the entire collection, because you have these three different colors here. This green one looks like this is the one for makeup just for fun. Uh, I'll tell y'all, honey, I, I don't want to risk getting this dirty, so we're not going to open those up. Then you have, which one? This blue one here is Laura May Beauty. So this pink one here has to be the Batty B one. But if you bought the entire collection and you were one of the first 1,000, you got this big scarf that I believe has all three of them on there. So baby, now we up to seven palettes and eight scarves. Come on through, honey. And I believe those are made of vegan silk, which I mean, it wouldn't have mattered to me either way. I know I'm supposed to have a letter opener over here somewhere. See, this is the part about unedited, oh, there you go. I'm like, oh my, unedited videos, baby, you don't get to go around and just, oh, let me cut this out. I'm trying to open this without messing up anything. There we go. So, first palette. The, this is the one with makeup just for fun. This is called Flora. And I believe as of today, when I checked earlier, this palette is officially sold out. And I think they said they are going to do a restock on, I think they said March 25th. And that's going to be the last restock. So if you were looking for this palette, baby, you may want to get on it. Because it seems the uh, fans are on it. And you know, greens are my favorite. So I had to have it. There was no way I was going to be without it. Okay. And oh. I was about to say, and they slide right out. Of the... Trust me when I tell you, they surely do. Because this one was about to slide straight out of my hands. Ten pan color story, is it? Yes, it is. I believe the last ones were 12 pans. And then the Angelica one, wasn't that one either? I think that one may have been a 16 pan. But get into this. First off, look at this outside. Baby. She is gorgeous, absolutely stunning, but look at this color story on the inside. 
Yes, ma'am. I can see why she sold out first because you know greens have my heart. And it, when it comes to colorful shades, after greens, it's the purples for me. So this is a stunning baby. But we don't want to risk dropping her. So we're going to put her back in. Slide this to the side. This plastic, we can just toss that over there. Oh, look at this. Y'all know blue is not my color. But look at Lauren May Beauty's palette, honey. Oh, my goodness. Yes. She is gorgeous. Let's see what that palette looks like on the inside. Honey. Talk about colorful shades. You knew blues do it for me. And the fact that you got that yellow in there. Yes, ma'am. Blues is not my favorites at all, but this is gorgeous. Okay, I see you, Lauren May Beauty, coming through. We gonna go ahead. So, oh, baby, if you're a colorful lover like me, Fatty Bean did not come to play with us. Look at this. On the outside, you already know, the unicorns gonna get it for me, baby. I don't even think that's a unicorn. That is a rhino. That lets you know, I ain't never been in here. I ain't sneaking get a peek or nothing, baby. I just bought it just to support. Look at that, though. Oh, my. The greens in that palette got me truly excited. Like, ooh. This shade here, familiar, is gorgeous. Yeah, we're going to have to make sure we get some tutorials up for this because, baby, those are gorgeous. And we need to put this up here because I want to make sure I do not lose or misplace any of that. The bubble wrap that came with this, we're not going to need that. So we're going to go ahead and just toss that to the side. Some other items that I get because I honestly was hoping that this would have came to Ulta once I seen it. But then I realized once I saw it, this is an old collab. It's not coming to Ulta because it never did. And it's getting ready to be out of here because it's on clearance. And I'm like, you know what? Don't know nothing about the formula, but I love the creator. Like I said, influencer collapse is what gets me. So I finally made a purchase from the Revolution website. And I got the Plastic Boy Gary Thompson palette. This is what the box looks like. And I was like, honey, I didn't even know Gary Thompson had a palette coming through like, baby. I think he had a highlighter. I think it was two lip sets. Um... I didn't get the highlighter because I'm like, Gary's complexion is much deeper than mine and I'm never going to be able to wear it as a true highlighter. It's going to be used as like an eyeshadow or something like that. So I'm like, we're not trying to waste money. We're just trying to support. And the packaging on this is beautiful. It is metal. Yes. Look at the packaging on here. It's gorgeous. And on the inside, you know, although I may not prefer neutrals over my colorful greens when i go for neutrals i want something deep and dark and with gary's complexion i knew he would not let me down look at this color story shades that i can actually use on my complexion shades i can use in my crease on my hooded lids in my outer v and get a beautiful neutral look so i am truly excited to get this soon as i saw it online i was like i would have paid full price for it but to get it on clearance, I think it was like half price. Got to get it. And honestly, I'm looking at this mirror on the inside. That mirror is gorgeous. It might be even prettier than the color story. I don't want to blind y'all, but yes, ma'am. I had to get that. And also, I picked up the Almond Macchiato Lip Kit. He had two lip kits. And of course, because I love nudes, I picked up the lighter of the two just to make sure I got something that I would actually wear. I'm like, Torrance, you're not the biggest fan of dark lip kits or dark colors, so it's no point of getting it. And it came as a trio. Once again, this is on sale. First up, we have a bullet lipstick. And I like this compact, baby. It's gold. Has his name on it. Make sure you can see that. And it has the shade name here on the top. Okay, the packaging, although I'm not going to say it feels expensive. It looks like an affordable brand tried to do something expensive. And I honestly like it. This shade here is a beautiful nude. Almond Macchiato. Yes, ma'am. 
So we're gonna get that on there. And that's, oh, wait, hold on. That's magnetic. Yeah, baby, look at that. I didn't expect that. Okay, come through. Also comes with a lip liner. Um, I'm not sure if that's gonna be dark enough, but this is what she looks like. Get this up here for you. I usually prefer a much darker liner than my lipstick, so more than likely I will probably wear this by itself. And it also has a lip, oop, almost rolled off. Also came with a light gloss. You know I love me a pale gloss. It looks like it's much more of a cream finish. I usually prefer shimmers, but gives me variety in my collection. I wanna see if I can get this lip liner open real quick just to see what that shade looks like on the inside. Okay, and now we see this is the type you're gonna have to sharpen. All right, yeah. The color looks a little darker in here than it does out here, so I'm liking that, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Revolution, we gonna try you out. Yeah, I just looked down and realized we're getting really close to the 30 minute mark. So there's no way we was going to get all of this done at one time and make it uncut. So I just decided to cut it off, start over. We're going to get it going again. We still have three more items to show for me. Then we can get into the items that I got for you. One of the last things I picked up was a silicone applicator from Morphe. I've been looking and looking and looking for silicone applicators that I can test out and make sure I can give a good, good recommendation on them. All of my favorites seems to be have to, that came out wrong. All of my favorites seems to be discontinued, but I did find out one of my favorite brushes is still available. I promise y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all where it's at. If not Thursday, maybe Friday. But I gotta buy me a backup first, honey. I do not wanna tell everybody and then I cannot get another one. Call me wrong for gatekeeping the information, but I promise y'all, no later than Friday morning, maybe even Thursday night, I will get that information to you all. But what I did pick up was what could potentially be a dupe, which is the Morphe M760 Silicone Glitter Packer Brush. And I picked this up at Ulta, and although the tip is clear, it still looks like it may get the job done. And I'm like, um, Morphe may not make the world's highest quality, greatest brushes, but I ain't had a Morphe brush fail me yet. So just feeling this and looking at this, I'm like, Torrance, she may get the job done for real. So I'm gonna test this out, see what she like, let y'all know. I can't guarantee nothing, but so far, she looked like she gonna be okay. And I had to have her, so I'm like, I think the sign said she was $6, but when I went up there to get, uh, get rung up, it said $7, but I still wanted to test her out because I'm like, you know what? I cannot find that NYX double-ended one anymore. I think that may still be available. I can't find my makeup for everyone. I can't find the Danessa Myrick ones. It's like... So, we're just going to test this one out, see what she's working with, and we'll let y'all know later on in the week. These last two items are items that you honestly can't just go online and buy. These are items that have been discontinued way too long. When I initially got them, I knew for sure I was buying items that were expired and getting them for collector's reasons. First off, if you get mad at me for having them, I completely understand. I'm not going to hold it against nobody, especially even if you hold it against me, but... I am somebody who loves collecting makeup, especially vintage items. It doesn't even have to be like really, really old. To me, two, three years ago is vintage for me because most people aren't talking about them. And as somebody who can't afford to get everything at all times, it really hurts my feelings when something comes out that I had the intention to get, but it sells out before I could have gotten it. And now when I go online to get it, I can only find people who are charging two, three, four, five, six times the price because they know it's highly desired. But I ended up looking for one of these items and getting them in a bundle because of a good recommendation from a friend who told me this was a trusted buyer. Ended up going through their collection and finding a bunch of beautiful items that I want to go back and get. But these were the two that I picked and stuck with. First up, from... Kat Von D. I understand, y'all, this is the Serpentina palette. 
This was the free bonus gift that came with what I really wanted. And I remember when this palette came out, I was honestly in store thinking I was going to get it. And this is what she looks like on the inside. The reason why I initially did not pick her up, even though she is beautiful and colorful, is because I did not see what kind of cohesive color story. Let me move my nail out of the way. I didn't see what kind of cohesive color story I could come up with. It looked like anytime I used this palette, I was going to have to reach into other palettes. And at the time, I was used to just doing straight neutrals and maybe a pop of color. And I figured with this palette, the least they could have done was thrown in a few neutrals so you can get a full look. And at the time, I did not want it. But what I did want was this loose pigment here called Profit. It's absolutely stunning. It comes out. It's just a like an old gold shimmer shade here. And it is beautiful. I'm trying to cover my face so this can capture this. But it's like an old gold shade, honey. And she's gorgeous. And... I ended up skipping on this palette even though I always wanted this particular shade here and now it's free with purchase. I have it and I'm ecstatic to have it. I keep telling myself Torrance you're not going to use it on the eye but I don't know. All I'm saying is the reason why it does look like this now is because I'm the type who goes in and disinfects my palettes once I get them. If you look, you see all those little marks in it. It's because as soon as I got it, I went, took me a Q-tip and rubbed the top off of each and every color individually. Like, swatched the whole top off of each and every shade. Then went in, disinfected by spraying it down with alcohol. I did that like four or five times with the alcohol. And then went back in with the Q-tip on the other side, swiped each shade off again and did it four or five more times with alcohol again to make sure this thing is disinfected, that top layer has been completely taken off, you've been clean, and then we did that again. So just in case I decide I want to use it, I'll feel comfortable with it. But baby, I got it here. She's gorgeous, and I'm telling you, I want to open this little pigment, but I keep trying to tell myself, just make sure she locked, because I just twisted it in here. I just want to make sure she don't open up on me. But once again, this was just the free with purchase. But baby, what I went in there looking for, hoping for, praying for, and I, I finally got something I thought I would never be able to get because of the price. The makeup collectors gonna understand. Baby, I finally got the Mi Vita Loca palette. I never thought I would get it. Actually, wait, no, this is the remix, I believe, and I never thought I would be able to get it when I see other people with this palette and everybody talk about how much fun it is, even people who have it and don't use it anymore, just keep it for collector's purposes because when this palette dropped, not only did we not have artwork like this in the makeup industry, where were you going to get a huge color story like that? Like, just get into that. I know nowadays this may seem basic, this may seem like something any and everybody can have, but once upon a time, you did not find color stories like this. And the same thing has happened. I took this bad boy out. I scraped each and every shade down. I disinfected it afterwards. And then I went in and scraped each shade down again and disinfected it again. So that if for any reason I get the desire to use this palette, I will be able to. And baby, I don't even want to use it. I just had to have it just to be able to say I got her. And she gorgeous, honey. She's gorgeous, and I can tell she's well loved because that brown was used a whole lot. This purple was used a lot. What else? This green was, and I don't mind it, baby. It just means she had a good life, and I just had to say I finally got her, and this was the last item. Huh. Okay, so I guess now that I done coughed all over this palette, I'm going to have to go ahead and disinfect her again because I done pulled her out and gave her some more germs. But, baby, what I tell you, I am so ecstatic to have this. I already know when my friend Janessa J see this palette, she gonna be like, you didn't tell me you found that. But baby, I got her. Probably never gonna use her, but I just wanted to say I had her in my collection because I've seen people trying to sell this for like $150 and it's like, since you know she expired, you know we can't use her, but to know that I found somebody who was willing to sell both of these for about $40, it was like, 
You have to have that baby and based on your collection and some of the other stuff you're selling, I will be back because I'm a collector and you got some gems in yours. So we're going to put those to the side, but baby, that ain't what we was here for. You know what? I think I might have to go ahead and just cut the camera off real quick because I want to make sure I pull all this to the side because I want to show y'all what I got for y'all. Let's get into it, baby. Let's get into it. I promise you all, I didn't get much, but I wanted to make sure that the few items that I did grab were sentimental items to me. So, I've already shown you a few of these items, but if you have not seen that we got the giveaway going, I wanted to bring everything back out and show you the little bits and pieces I've been adding slowly to this giveaway to make sure that it was nice, because I don't have the money to just drop it all down at one time, but we've been talking long enough. The first two items that I had already shown you were these two from Juvia's Place. This is the Bronze Rustic Palette, as well as the Candy Shop Palette. And the reason I added these was because I lost them in a bit to you all. I could not finish them and the use it or lose it. And so I had to declutter them. They're still sealed in the box. But in case you don't know what those palettes look like, they look like this here. This is the first one. She looks like this on the inside, nice and neutral. She's still currently available. And the Candy Shop, um, this one here is also available, but I have not had the chance to do a tutorial for this palette yet. She's nice and colorful. And so I still need to get a video up for this one because this is my personal one and I've never used her. So it will be a surprise to both of us what this one is like. I know that Bronze Rustic is beautiful, but I also decided, okay, Torrance, since you went in and you decided to use two palettes where you didn't have any choice in it, you just lost the bet, you had to give those up, pick two other palettes. I've been sitting here trying to fight this hiccup and hoping y'all couldn't notice it, but it came up. <laughs> but um, I decided to pick two other palettes where you have a choice in the matter and try to pick something that's close to those. You got one neutral, one colorful, pick a neutral and a colorful palette from the brand that really means something to you. And the two that I chose was first the Masquerade Mini Palette. One, because this was the very first palette I used on YouTube. And two, because this was the palette that I did a new and updated uh, tutorial for. And I announced the giveaway during this tutorial. And I kept saying, that's weird to announce a Juvia's Place tutorial, giving away those first two, but announcing it during this video. I'm like, Torrance, if you're going to announce it during Masquerade Mini, give away one. And I want to show you all what this looks like on the inside. And you're going to see she's a really colorful honey. Like she has a ton of bold colors in it. But she also has neutrals, which is why I enjoy her so much. And I'm like, baby, that camera zoom is taking forever. Come through. But you can see just how many colorful shades is in this palette, which is why I enjoy it so much. You can go in with your neutral crease. Pop her on the lid, anything, any one of these shades in this palette, and then keep it going. But I'm like, everybody, Torrance, is not a fan of colorful shades. And although you're offering them, maybe they need something a little more neutral, a little more professional. You know, something that they can wear to the office. Maybe, you know, they want to go on a date or something like that. And so I'm like, Torrance, you got to hook them up with what you think is Juvia's Place's best neutral palette, which is the coffee shop. And I did a tutorial on this. I believe I used this palette last year and you all went crazy over that tutorial. That tutorial, easily one of my most viewed in my three years on YouTube, even though it just came out last year and she's stunning. And this is what she looks like on the outside. So I'm like, Torrance, you love this palette. They love this palette and they may not have the option to get it in their country because my giveaways are usually international. This one will be as well, but get into this color story. It does not matter how light or how dark you are. This will work for you. The shades in here are beautiful, warm, neutral, and cool tones, matte and metallics. She's stunning. I need to get another tutorial up for it because she's absolutely beautiful, but I know somebody is going to absolutely love this. And I'm like, okay, Torrance, that's for Juvia's Place. <clears throat> Beautiful. We love the brand. We got it going. But you don't want this to be just for Juvia's Place palettes. And then they out the door. See you later. You want to spice it up a little more than that. Even though 
I understand you all are gonna be appreciative, you're all gonna love it, and you all support the channel regardless, but I wanted to add a little something something in there, and you all remember I did a mystery box with Adept Cosmetics. That box has since sold out, so you can't repurchase it, but I ended up getting a box where I decided I will keep one item and give you all the rest. The item I decided to keep was the La Cienega palette. This was from Adept Cosmetics. This is my personal one and I still have to get a tutorial up for it. You all have been asking for it, so I need to hurry up and get that going. But this is what that palette looks like on the inside. I believe they said this palette is um, gonna come back in stock, but right now it is uh, uh, sold out. So you all can sign up for notifications. But as you can see, I haven't swatched it or done anything because I want a true first impressions on this palette. And I decided to keep this from the mystery box and give you all the eight liquid liners that came with it. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many of them are which, but I know this is a mixture of just plain liners and multi-chrome liners. So some of them retail for about $10, some of them retail for $17, but there are eight different shades. They are still completely sealed. And I did not want to open these and swatch these because I figured I don't want to send somebody something used that's going to go on their eye. So there are the entire collection of all eight of the liquid liners from um, Adept Cosmetics are right here. They gonna go for y'all. But then I realized Torrance, you might want to grab just something else from Adept Cosmetics. You're not sure exactly what it's going to be, which one, because you usually try to get a tutorial out for everybody. And I wasn't sure which palette to grab. But then they announced that they are going to discontinue. They getting rid of the Amunet palette. And baby, when I tell you that is my baby, it is my baby because here she go right here. I have a tutorial up for this palette. If you all want to see it, I'll leave it linked right here above. And the reason I love this palette so much is because not only do I love greens, but my favorite shade from the brand is in this palette and now she on her way out the door. This shade here, Hathor, is my absolute favorite. She is an extremely high shine green shade. And when I tell you, almost every time that I use that color on the eye, I also use it as a face highlighter. I will take my fan brush right here and baby, we're going to go in from an angle to make sure I get it from corner to corner and tap, 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 baby. And I will use that as a face highlighter anytime I use it. And that is one of the reasons why I am scared that I'm going to go and hit pan on this uh, shade faster than any other one because it's like, she's my favorite. If I'm wearing like this dark green shade here, chances are I'm not going to wear that green as a face highlighter. But this Hathor shade I will, and I don't mind whatever green color I'm wearing. I don't mind doing it with that. And I've been professing my love for this palette for so long that once they said that they were going to discontinue it, I've been telling y'all, I've been waiting on the package to come in the mail. It was supposed to come last Monday. Last Monday, and it's Tuesday. But it finally got delivered. And the reason why she opened is because when I was coming upstairs to record this video, I tripped up the stairs box made it up the stairs before I did and it do 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 I'm like oh my goodness so I had to open it up and check it just to make sure things were okay and it was and so what I purchased from this was the Amunet bundle they have a light and a dark version and what I showed you all here was the dark version I don't know if it's called dark or deep but the reason it is considered that is because this shade here Seth is a matte blue and in the light version I believe it's a like a neutral shade but I knew I wanted this one because I'm like I like colorful shades and if I'm gonna pay for the same palette why not get a colorful shade over a neutral so I have this deep version here but once I realized y'all gonna get rid of it I'm gonna need a backup of my shade Hathor because I'm not about to slow down on my use of that shade so right here what we have is the bundle this is the Amunet Light and Amunet Dark. And what I am going to keep for myself is the Amunet Light. This is what it comes like. I just pulled it out of this bubble wrap. So I want to let you all know it was safe and secure. Nothing was damaged, which is what I absolutely love. Once you open this box here, it looks like this. You would take this piece out. 
Then you would take this wall down, and there she is, the amunette. So I want to get her out. Maybe I got nails, so I'm trying to make sure she don't go flying. And the reason why I got the amunette light is because I only wanted a duplicate of the shade Hathor, which now I have. But by getting this one here, it now gives me a second palette, and I just gouged that shade with this piece. That was my fault. But look at this, honey. I now have the ability to use this palette whenever I want, as often as I want. And no, I always have a backup of the shade Hathor, but by picking up the light shade, I now have this shade Seth. I have the light and the dark version, so anytime I want to create a custom color story, I don't have to choose between the light or the dark. This one upside down, so let me flip that this way. I have the light and the dark version of Seth. And that makes me happy, so I'm like, Torrance, we good to go. We're going to put that to the side. So, of course, if I bought the bundle, which contains the light and the dark, and I'm keeping the light version for myself, that means I picked up for you all Amunet D. And I'm going to add this to this because I figured it would be crazy of me to go ahead and get you all an adept set of liners and not get you all an adept palette. I'm like, I want you all to be able to enjoy and have fun with the makeup, even though Juvia's Place, they make amazing products. They make beautiful things. What they don't have so far, or not to my knowledge, they don't have is any multi-chromes. And I want y'all to experience that. And I'm like, I want y'all to experience that from a brand that I know makes amazing multi-chromes. And you may not have the time or the energy or the money to pick up Amunet. And because I love it, the one shade, if you can't have nothing else from them, I want you to have, it's my absolute favorite shade. So, you see she tightly bundled here. I have not opened her because I trust and believe that she will still be intact just like my light version was. And so I put that over here and we were sitting over there like, okay, Torrance, we're going to look over there, make sure we ain't got nothing else and we're good to go. But that's what I wanted to ask you all. Because last month I managed to get sick because of that power outage and we lost an entire week of footage and recording and things like that. I wanted to know if you all would not mind me pushing back the giveaway one more week just to give me time to do another video because I have something in mind that I wanted to show you all using the Amunet palette and I really want time to get that video up before the giveaway winner is announced. So please let me know in the comment section down below if you all are okay with that. And also let me know if you all were expecting that Amunet palette to come through because baby, I love y'all and I wanted to make sure y'all get that. And I was about to say, Torrance, we can go ahead and end this video here. But like I just said, I love y'all and I want y'all to know the love is real because the support is real. And I'm like, Torrance, I know it's something else you could do to kick this giveaway up to the next level. So, the main reason I truly got sick is because I had to stay home and wait for a different package. Um, <clears throat> during that power outage, another package came and it wasn't expected to come till Monday when I thought the power would be back on, but while I was chilling over my aunt's house, immediately I got a notification saying out for delivery on that Friday. And I'm like, excuse me? You're not supposed to be here till, and I had to go back home and wait for it in the cold, and that's how I ended up getting sick, but I'm telling you all, you all are worth it, I believe it, and so the very last thing that I got so far, because you know, I always add a little couple secret things to the giveaway. Got y'all a little something extra right here, and baby, you know what it is? She might be sold out, she might be gone, but because it was so beautiful and I had to have her and I want you all to have her because my favorite color is green, I managed to pick up an extra Inspire palette for you all. Baby, when I tell you, I was penny pinching. I, baby, I had to eat on the budget for that week because I took the last of my few little grocery money to get this palette for you all, but look at her. When I tell you, if Adept ain't never did nothing right in their life to me, this green multi-chrome palette here is straight up gorgeous. I love her. I love her. Greens are my favorites. And when I hear 
so many DMs from you all about how many of you all could not get it, how it sold out so fast, how it came out and you all didn't get paid to this day or something like that. I'm like, I got so many subscribers who would love the chance to have this palette. And I understand Adept is a business, so they can't just be giving stuff away. So I'm like, you know what? We're not even going to wait. We're not going to chance it. I'm just going to buy it myself after I get it, you know, for got me one for myself so right here we have this and i want to make sure i get this up so you all can see we not playing baby we ain't, we got this going and i'm gonna put these two together in one box just to make sure i don't lose them don't drop them or anything because i wanted to show you all i'm gonna tell you this is the bigger wider box because you see this box compared to this box so you can see those two different sides is going on let me get them lined up right there baby Inspired palette. I'm gonna put this down in here. Make sure she's nice and secure. Your Amunet palette. We're gonna get that in here. Your Juvia's Place palettes. We're gonna get those over here. Your liners. We're gonna put that in here. And when I tell y'all, that is not even everything that's going in that giveaway because I like to keep some stuff surprises. But I wanted to let you all know. This past year has been amazing. I'm praying this next year is even better. I know I'm going to have a couple things to clean up because I've been just throwing trash and stuff over there. But I wanted to show you all, we about to take off. We about to be doing bigger and better things this next year. I got so many video ideas coming and I want you all to interact with me. I know a lot of people like going through their collection and saying, okay, well, he used the matte green right here in the crease. I'll just find a matte green that's similar. And you know what? Keep it up. Use what you got. You don't have to buy new things. But sometimes it's nice to... Have people who can follow along and use exactly the exact same items and I knew for sure that for many of you the only way you would be able to use the Amunet or the Inspired palette because Inspired is already sold out was if someone got it for you and you know what I got you back and I can't promise everybody can get it but one person will and I'm hoping and praying that you love it remember my giveaways are always international but in order to win it you have to leave a video I mean, you have to leave a comment under my masquerade mini video and you have to be subscribed so I will leave all of that information in the description bar but I gotta get this video edited so I can get it up for you all so if you are a returning subscriber, I want to say thank you for the support. If you're new to the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, leave me a thumbs up if you all like haul videos. I can't promise I can do them too often, but the more you all watch, the more thumbs up you get, and the more ads you all watch. Remember, we don't get paid if y'all don't watch those ads. The more stuff I can get for y'all. But we're going to get this video over with because I cannot wait to hear about how excited you all are for this giveaway. I ain't going to tell y'all about that next surprise I got coming. He ain't as big as that Inspired palette, but it will be something you can use with that palette. So let me shut my mouth before I get to talking and keep on talking and remind you all to remember to practice, continue to stay blessed, and until next time, goodbye YouTube.